now yield to the distinguished ranking member, Mr. Green of Texas, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you for appearing today, Mr. Cordray. Uh, you and I know that you have been amenable to and willing to appear at all times, and you've indicated such. Uh, so it does not surprise me that you are here today. Uh, this is the fourth hearing styled allegations of discrimination and retaliation and the CFPB management culture. The fourth hearing, and we have heard allegations. And I want to assure all that while we have heard allegations, I have not drawn a final conclusion because we have heard allegations. I will let you know that we have spent approximately eight hours and 40 minutes of investigative time hearing allegations, looking at subpoenas. And I believe that these hearings initially caused me to have a visceral thought of this is about the CFPB only, that the CFPB was being singled out. That was my initial thought, and there probably may be some of this, but I've also come to conclude that it's bigger than the CFPB. It's about invidious discrimination wherever it happens to be, not just at the CFPB. And to this end, the ranking member of the full committee and I have sent a letter to the chairman of the full committee and the chairman of the subcommittee asking that invidious discrimination be investigated in other areas. Uh, we have asked in this letter that allegations against Goldman Sachs be investigated. I ask that this letter be presented uh, for the record, please, if there are no objections. Without objection. And um, I just believe that what's good for the regulator is good for the regulated. If we're going to investigate with a great amount, uh, a great amount of energy, many, many hours, the CFPB, the regulator, I think we have to look at the regulated as well. These are all allegations, but here are some of the allegations. As you know, we started this investigation with a Bloom, with a American Bankers article. Bloomberg has an article styled Goldman Boys Club Accused of Mocking Women as Bimbos and Party Girls. What's good for the regulator is good for the regulated. Bloomberg indicates that there are concerns with salaries and promotions at Goldman. But there's another article that goes into some greater detail in terms of what the issues are. Uh, this one is from the International Business Times. It indicates that the most damning claims revealed in documents, all allegations, are one, that a woman was punished for reporting an alleged sexual assault by a male coworker. Two, Goldman hired beautiful women but mocked their intelligence. I'm reading from the International Times. These are allegations. I don't draw conclusions until I hear from all sides. Goldman paid women less because they didn't consider them heads of household. Escorts were hired for a holiday party. Women were worried that becoming pregnant would threaten their chances at a promotion. Male Goldman Sachs employees took clients to strip clubs. Women weren't taken seriously when socializing at bars and clubs after work hours. All allegations. But I do believe that's what's good for the regulator is good for the regulated. And my hope is that my colleagues will join me, we've made the request, and they will join me and let's look into what's happening at Goldman Sachs. Let's not end this investigation with the regulator. 
Let's look at what's happening with the regulated. My belief is that people of goodwill who have decided that this is a course that we should embark upon will not cease and desist with the regulator. My belief is that they will look into what's happening with the regulated. Dr. King reminded us, Mr. Chairman, that the truest measure of the person is not where you stand in times of comfort and convenience, but where do you stand in times of challenge and controversy? This is a time of challenge and controversy. We are investigation, investigating allegations of discrimination. And while Mr. Cadre has not been a perfect servant, he's been a good public servant. And I look forward to hearing what he has done to take corrective action at the CFPB. And I also look forward to looking into the regulated to the extent that we're looking into the regulators. Thank you, Mr. Green.